Today I start with start at Comet Watch. This was just posted an hour ago from uh, Michael Yeagert, one of the best. And what he has here is 15 degrees, easily, freely visible. A ion tail disturbed by solar winds. What more could you want? This is what we have here. Let's enlarge it. Let's look at this latest image closely. And I'll put the diagram, the orbital diagram where it's at right now. Also, you could visit, you could see it live at uh, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, check my last video. You'll see the details of the time and location. But here, we could clearly see right here this jet. This is the, the dust tail. This is the ion. But this looks different very different still waiting to get more detail what they think it is it's too bad again we we can't get the big boys the observatories and the spacecrafts web telescope to give us a close-up like 10 times closer than this or maybe more i mean it could zoom in and see this my opinion and look at the solid i've said that from from prior videos the way it maintains a solid appearance but you can see where where it interacts with the ion right there but this here to me to, if I could just zoom in let's zoom in let's try to zoom in as close as we can before it distorts oops right there as far as I could take it I can't slide it over but you can see like an opening in a way, it just jets out. It's got that spiral, spiral right here. Images. What if it's a fragment? What if, I'm talking what if because you already know that I, I already have one strike on me. One more strike that I'd be ideal. What if a fragment? I'm just speculating. I'm just guessing. Okay, it's just a, my opinion. Broke off right here. It, it broke off. Because here's the nucleus right here, right there in the coma size. And this is it, something broke off, moved moved away, and then it started going downward and it started joint, showing its jets. Remember, these comets, you could take a picture like or image like right now, and then 10 minutes later or 5 minutes later, it'll look different. It's constantly changing. So you have to be at the right place at the right time to see these capture these in other words you got to be it's like lottery and we have another one okay Jared also has another here let's check out Jared's image right here the way it just let's zoom in let's zoom in it darn it I can't take it uh, right there that's the best I could do and I don't have one of those uh, zoom things where you could just zoom in but clearly here some this is disturbance of some sort that's causing this jet and the only thing <laughs> the only thing and look how solid it is it's just solid and then we got the ion right there i could barely see it barely let me put this right here the marker there like a disattach and it's leaving its own like a comet does just separate if we have another picture like maybe 10 minutes it would be it would be great to see if this thing disattach. That's another one too that I was holding off on. Okay, this gentleman here, uh, 59 minutes ago, just sharing image of a new comet. It doesn't have a name yet. That's the designation from Italy. This telescope project right here. The target was just 13 degrees above the southeast horizon. So here it is. More information on it. Let's take a quick look. So this is a new, a new object as of today, the 30th. Let's just stay tuned to that and see if any more comes out of that. But here's the, this gentleman here, very respected. I, I don't want to say amateur astronomers. I mean, when you do this all the time, from Chile. So he has a great view in the southern hemisphere. And he's over here, so he's, he has access to who knows what kind of setup. Let's take a closer look here. Now, here, here, you can see some sort of distortion. Also, you got the blue, the bluish 
right here right there but clearly something something tucky right there could that be a fragment could it be another disattachment this was posted three days ago discuss Let's check out some of the this the comments 29 so that's a lot let's see a fragment came off tail disconnection event disconnection event these are amateurs astronomers astronomers or people who oh wow okay wait the 30th ion okay this is from from jared so we got michael and jared so tensions being drawn here today as of an hour ago right now so we have that but he also put put one the other day let's just check out his site got a lot of points let's see what else he has 17 hours ago look at that well michael's saying 15 degrees Every, yeah there was a a comment made on one of the chats where astronomers gathered saying 16 so 16 15 16 maybe more they're being conservative they got to be conservative when they throw out numbers like that yeah he duck talks talks about that now we got super red auroras in maine just to throw it in there okay they're talking about the what i've been talking about for for a while know about the corona borealis will explode nova any day now we'll create a new star in the night sky wow so how do they know in the, in the next couple of days um okay so stay tuned for that and uh we got weather havoc almost every single country in the world is experiencing extreme weather i mean extreme i mean this is extreme <laughs> extreme this is where this is somewhere Naples or by China I mean it's everywhere gee I wonder who their fathers were this hatred I'm telling you okay 40 degrees okay right now the Sun is in the heart of Leo no the moon the moon and at 0500 you can see the comet rising due east from the observatories but the thing what messes it up is the the, the glaze from the moon if it wasn't for the moon being in that position you could be distorting it you could see it fantastic so we do have confirmation and nasa's putting this out on the 28th some sort of what is this black hole uh, jets coming out of it um, okay where where is it and then remember the fish look at the vibration the frequency frequency affects water frequency affects everything I mean in the beginning there was the word yeah more images from the the astronaut matthew oh, what a name matthew he provides us another image from the space look you can see the reddish purplish and look at the auroras so he must be by close to the northern latitude or the southern latitude amazing image look at the way the the four layers and this look last one looks like a sea or filament the lion leo constellation here's a little diagram I saved it for this occasion. Okay, here's a date right on top. Let's see if I can freeze it. Oh, the 11th. So the 9th and the 10th. Okay, today's the today's the 30th. Okay, I don't know how true this is, the second moon. The way it looks. Let's see if we could get a closer look. Oh, wow. Well. Let's, let's see what we spot.
kind of creepy looking, doesn't it? Especially around here. Uh, it looks creepy. It's like three, three circles. Three circles. See that? Rings. One, two, three. Man, can't see this right here. It's kind of dark right there. You got another circle here. Wow, but the three, three circles. I've seen that diagram before, and it looks perfect, too. Perfect circle. Three of them. Seen this. I've seen this before. I just don't remember where. Kind of creepy, huh? Now, there's, there's warnings coming out. I'll leave this right there, this person right here. Check out uh, what this senator from Connecticut has to say. Democrat. And Acapulco's getting hit again. And the seas. Oh, this guy got a pretty good setup. That that is no this is no amateur. This dude right here. Okay. Wow. Oh, okay. So he's one of the big boys. That's nice to know. Okay, here's a new chart. Chart before what they were what? I gotta look at my prior bid. It was what this right here, two point five. Already the last today reports uh two point zero. It's already surpassed. It's already surpassed. So they drew up a new. They drew up a new line. Now let's look. See how far they're looking at a minus minus two point five. They clearly visible. I mean, you could go outside and see it without a binoculars but it'd be cool to have a binoculars you could see closer see what else we could find okay nine hours ago it's now in the constellation of leo it left it left hydra i'm not even gonna say saxon now it's in the constellation of leo heading towards virgo okay more on a the chart they're saying at october 8th minus 2.0 or minus 3.0 on october 8th oh my video got on the 13th which one was this 1.4 thousand views near earth data for possible event but if you look at youtube it probably has about a hundred views so if you add all these sites together i should be easily having over 3,000 plus views but since i'm un favor de la gente esta de, in san jose oh by the way it's san jose that's where they're located at I heard they, heard they got a 4.2 earthquake yesterday. I was going to say something about that, but I kept quiet. If they want to ban me, they can ban me. I mean, if you look at the other stuff they show, they don't hit them for that. I made a reference because of, because of the D. See what else we could find. Okay, I got my cup of coffee here. It's early in the morning. It's about, I think it's about 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. So we got a new, a new com comet. Okay, Atlas discovered it. At, a few days ago and they still haven't given it a, it'll have a name by today probably and michael and jared photographed it a new one and it talks about sun glazer comet discovered not not far away it's already 11 magnitude green in color short tail i'm just glancing folks oh this is the same one from the great comet 2000 years ago that broke apart and they gave it this name here what kirk's sun glazers the ones you see crashing into the sun it broke up so many pieces. It's constantly, the fragments are are crashing into the sun. Imagine what it, what it might have looked like when it was intact. It must have been like like a moon size or something. It stays here. Stay tuned. This is developing. This is new. So this is hot off the press, as of now, within the hour. Let's take a look at the gallery. Okay, looking at the gallery today. This is posted on the thirtieth. Okay, there it is. Uh. Wow, maybe we could get a closer image here. Let's take a see. There it is. That don't look normal. Look how solid. It maintains that solid, like, it's weird. Look, it's weird. Like, without thinking, camouflage. Just solid. But it's venting. Houston, we got a problem. We are venting from the rear or the middle portion. And look, you can see the road, the spiral. venting and here's the ion three three tails okay but it was normal it will be over here but the way 
Let's see if I can zoom in. Nope. I can't zoom in more. No, this is from Jared, different astronomer. Let's look at the word this compared to Michael's. See where the position is at? Right here. Check out the other one side by side. Okay, here's Michael's. Take a side by. So it's more up. Jared's image. Somebody could get a ruler or something like that. Jared's image, we don't know what time he took it, seems to be about here. So it moved from here. Let's put it right here, conservatively, here. So whatever that is, it moved. Keep an eye on this. So they're saying 15 degrees conservatively, probably between 16 going on 20. So this gives you an idea, definitely definitely gonna be visible wait till it gets closer so don't be surprised we get a 25 where you can put your fingers and see the big dipper which is pretty big the big dipper everybody sees the big dipper and what were they talking about a three minus three let's see we got the venus at its brightest minus three let's say right here so we're looking for approximately 41 million miles give or take tail 41 million miles looking at the chart right here Cook is coming between the orbit of Mercury. We don't know a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left. I'm just going to put it in the middle just to, you know, so this Halley's Comet was 69 million miles and that was 1911. And you see from the sun, its sun starting point, it reached all the way beyond Venus, the tail. If we're here, let's say 60, let's play with this a little bit. I wish I could do a better job, guys. Let's say 40. 69. Let's take a from here to here right about here so from here let's say to there and that's just 15 degrees you see what i mean by the plasma tail and the dust tail the dust tail what we see is this solid i mean solid it goes solid all the way i mean it's been like that since we first saw it and this is the what they call the plasma tail the sun to see where the sun's at right here right here see that so the sun's over here, right? So backwards, the sun is, so you're gonna get that image. If you turn it upside down, just pretend that object is right here. No, it was first here, now it's here, but there was another one, John C., I don't know his name, like over here. Okay, shooting to the sky real quick, position. It's in the Leo constellation. They have it at 2.1 magnitude, Leo, the lion. We all know what the line means. We also know. Let's check out the. Yep, here it is. It's in the Leo. It'll be in the Leo from well from the 29th, the 30th today. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. For the next six days, it'll be in the Leo constellation, and after that, it on the fifth it goes into Virgo. On the fifth, let's take a look. Mamma mira, que está pasando aquí. Okay, here's Earth right here. Right there. Here's today's date. This is vivo. This is live. So it's slowly coming into our eclipse. In other words, surface, surface. Any uh, The people in the southern hemisphere in Earth have a better, they can see it better. But slowly, let's take it to the next day. October 1st, you see how it's coming up. And when everybody be in their face in this northern, let's see. See if they change anything. Let's see the 8th. Oh, so now it's announced the 8th. Okay, the 8th. No, it's not broken the ecliptic. You think of a uh, ditch, a ditch, you know, plane. Yeah. Let's put on the 9th. Okay, 9th has gone up a little bit. Take it back to the 8th. The 9th. 10th. Okay, so the 10th. The 11th to 12th. This is when they say it's the closest. And the 13th. Gotta get the 13th. And look at the projectory right here. And uh, there's already reports of possible, you know. I gotta watch my words. Don't say it. They know what I'm talking about. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. The music. Brimstones from above. Revelation. Let's see. Of course. Yeah, and then we got the Orions, and we got the Dracodins, and now we got a new comet. Doesn't even have a name. The comet with no name. From a fragment, they're saying for over. Remember, they got to give clues. They they can't. They got some holy written law. They have to 
I mean, they could lie all they want, and peop- 90% of people will buy it, but they have to reveal the truth. So the number 2,000 years ago, gee, well, I wonder what happened over 2,000 years ago. And in the Leo constellation, gee, you wonder what the symbol of that means. And the way all the weather patterns are just going crazy around the world and the behavior. So that's what we have so far, folks. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, thanks a lot, and see how long I stay on the air. And I did a, it was very difficult. It's very difficult when you can't speak freely. You know what I'm saying? You, I sound like a damn alien talking or, or somebody that, you know, you can't speak freely. There's no freedom of speech. I mean, I wish I would speak freely. Just say it like it is without any. But I want to stay on it because I'm giving my family a heads up. And loved ones and my family, you heads up. You, you already know my family already knows what time it is. I mean, you can see it. Trust your feelings. Yep. Oh, that's a good angle right there. So let's say 15 degrees. Oh, it seems to be, okay, pretty close. But it said the pointer. I'm just estimating. I'm just playing with the chalkboard here. Okay, let's say 40, 41 million miles. Brimstone from above. It could be this. It could be the new one that showed up could be an impact one who knows what else is going to show up but you can feel it doesn't take a rocket scientist this is a sign comets are omens messengers uh, pending doom war a great event ushering a great event remember comet 12p which i did what over 70 videos on i mean i had energy it was like uh it was like i was like plugged in this one here i'm plugged in but at the same time i'm also since I'm being bombarded, you see, well, you saw what happened. Gonna try to knock me off the air. And let me tell you, karma, you don't mess with the, with the chosen ones. There's a special place in purgatory for those that take advantage of people. Until next time.